featherweight championship fight between Jose Aldo and Alexander Volkanovsky. So here he is right now at present, the best we have to offer at 145 pounds, the undisputed featherweight king, Alexander Volkanovsky. And you want to talk about a championship performance as betting underdog. A lot of people look at Rafael Dos Anjos back in the day against Showtime Pettis. How about what Volkanovsky did in outclassing Max Holloway to realize UFC gold? And he's just starting to put it all together. So it's a scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division to think just how good this Volkanovski could be now, having made those improvements since winning the belt against them. Well, how about the pop as the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy, he is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Aldo is two years his senior. He is one inch taller. Volkanovski will have a one inch reach advantage. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, one loss. He stands five feet, six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, presenting the challenger, Alexander the Great Volkanovski. And now introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose. For the championship. We've been giving you instructions in the dress room and protect yourself at all time. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Or... It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus 12 rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, big punch land. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick land. Another leg kick there. 
I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check them, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kick, he'll just pop a jab off. Get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yes. and has such a great understanding of landing his leg kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Just misses with the jab there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Volkanovski. Volkanovski's got his arm under the chin, going for a guillotine now. Oh, nice guillotine there. He might get a finish here. Wow. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Seconds to go here. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend, but you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, Forehead to forehead, let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, let's get to round two. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering, nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Try to establish that jab. He blocks the punch. Great punch. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Aldo gets back up. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down with the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. So we call on the numbers here. These are unofficial, but 42 total strikes and counting have now landed for the King of Rio, Jose Alba. And landing with 58% accuracy against Alexander the Great Volkanovsky. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice counter with the hook shot there by Volkanovsky. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. And they separate. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. 
And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people... Oh, oh. the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Now land it clean. Wow! He's out! Wow! That was nasty! What a performance! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there is the UFC featherweight champion. Near perfect performance tonight. It ends with a knockout victory. You can be sure he and his team will be celebrating deep into the night. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 29 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose. Well, he came in as the UFC featherweight champion, billed as maybe the greatest featherweight of all time. And how do you add to that legacy? You knock out the number one contender cold in defense of your time. And he said that he's not even done. He spoke to the Oscar, he talked about what's next. 